Welcome back. We have got another Red Horse Knife Works knife today, and it is not a Hellraiser. I know, crazy, right? They actually make other models. I know. I, it, I don't know why they had to, because the Hellraiser is just amazing, but they do. And this is The Chopper, okay? So this was loaned in from my good buddy Alex over at the Knifebox channel. Link to his channel down below. So he picked this up very recently. I think he had it for maybe a week before he said it to me. So I'm very honored by that. that that's great. He also sent along this Hellraiser frame lock, which I did a video of already, which is also super cool, okay? The chopper has it has it dethroned the Hellraiser for me as my one of the awesome favorite fun knives. I don't know. I gotta be honest. The chopper is incredibly cool. Like there's just no two ways around it. So let's dive into the specs, and then we'll talk about we'll talk about it. How about four and five eighths closed? Move the bag out of the way. Four and five eighths, eight inches overall, with that Warncliffe style blade. Three point three two inch blade and cutting edge. It is D two steel. It has a very nice V grind. 0.184 thickness, 0.584 overall thickness, runs on bearings, and weighs in at 7.3 ounces. So it's not light, but it actually doesn't feel heavy, if that makes sense, right? There's some things that just feel heavy for its size and its shape and whatnot. This feels great in the pocket and in the hand. Other than the pocket clip, okay? We talked extensively about the pocket clip on the Hellraiser, so I won't ramble about that today. The clip is not my favorite. I, I don't like the clip, but the knife, holy smokes. Guys, it's pretty cool. Let's zoom in. Just plain, this is a plain Jane. Like nothing fancy about it whatsoever. Got a little ding here, but just this tumbled stonewashed titanium is awesome. Nice barrel spacers. Nice pivot, like nothing fancy. No lock bar insert. Just carbonized lock face. Super sterile, clean blade. Like, they have just the Red Horse logo there. Kind of hidden if you're not looking for it. I love that. Like, it's just, I mean, it's there, but it's not big, bold, and in your face. These finger grooves just fit perfectly. The clip, yes, it does kind of point up. But that does allow it to go in and out of your pocket very easily. But it doesn't dig into your hand. Like, you could use this all day, and you're not going to feel it or be bothered by it in your hand. There is no finger choil, so you can't really choke up on this, but it's not necessarily needed. It's just... <laughs> this is... A brute of a working knife. And they really made it to be a working knife. All right. I, the Hellraiser in any configuration is not going to be your hard duty use knife. Okay. It's just not. That's not what it's. You can use these. Absolutely. Like there's nothing wrong with using these. 
they are going to do a great job. But for your hard use stuff, the frame lock one is going to be a little bit better than your P series because it's just a little more solid in that full titanium and the lockup and everything. But this blade shape and this style in your hand is not going to be the perfect user knife for breaking down cardboard. Like doing hard, I don't even want to say hard use because that's going to be a different video, but what does hard use even mean? Like, really? Like, I, I don't know. We'll save that for a different video. Um, but this just, it feels, feels a little bit stronger in the hand and like you could just do more work with this when you grab it than the Hellraiser. Now, you know I love the Hellraiser, right? But I don't know. If I was going to go bust down cardboard all day and cut stuff up or unload pallets and, you know, cut straps and opening boxes and breaking down cardboard and, you know, doing like warehouse work, I guess, for the day. And I had to choose or I got to choose which one of these two I would grab. There's no question. The chopper would be in my hand because this would get it done just easier. Wow, a little bit light on the detent that time. Don't think I had it all the way closed. But this is just going to get that work done better, I think. It feels better in the hand than the Hellraiser for everyday, like, harder use, you know, continual duty use. Maybe that's a better term, right? So, I don't know. I think it's super cool. I don't love the pocket clip. It sticks out super far in your pocket. Like, there's a lot sticking out, which I just don't love. But the action is sweet. Fires hard. Ain't gonna slip. It's just... It's fidgety, but this you just know. You pick this up and it just feels like, all right, it's time to get to work. We're not playing around when we pick this up. It's time to go to work. Okay? When you pick up this Hellraiser, it's a little more fun. Yeah, let me cut open your bag of chips. Let me open up that box with my new knife in it. It's cool. It's fun. It carries better in the pocket, but you pick this up and you're like, yeah, time to go to work. So I love it. This is super great. Let's do a couple size comparisons. These are discontinued. Um, like most things, you know, Red Horse is really focusing on the Hellraiser P-Series. That, that's what their main focus is. The Spider Codelica, that one. Um, the Quiet Carry Waypoint. So they're really focusing on the P-Series and doing different versions and different styles of the Hellraiser P-Series. So I don't know where they're going to be at with their, you know, mid-tech, if that's still a term, um, or customs or anything like that. Like, you know, it's, it's a little sad, but uh, the chopper is super great. How about the Kubi KB237? Also really a knife that you pick up and you're like, boom, time to go to work. I need to clean that one. Man, open too many boxes with that one. It's got some tape junk on it. So Alex, my friend, thank you. Like. I didn't really know about this one until you talked about it and sent it up and wow. Like if I could only buy one frame lock version from Red Horse right now today, I might have to get the chopper because I've got the production Hellraisers. And so I really want a frame lock Hellraiser to kind of go with that theme and that s s collection. But this chopper, wow. It's pretty freaking cool, guys. I can't lie. So thanks for watching, everyone. 
Have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow.